Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. Okay. Kia ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Georgina. And I'm Skylar. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of wool and graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it and the latest weather update. But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed to the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes and even a upside-down kitchen and an upturned bathroom. We cross now to Ewan. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Quinn. What made you decide to build this upside down house? I didn't. I came home from work late one day and my house was upside down. I think it was the kids from OT. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? Whenever I hang out with my friends and we decide whose house to go to, it's always mine because mine's upside down. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? Sleeping. Whenever I go to sleep, I always fall and hit my head and I have brain cancer. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Georgina and Skylar. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Isla. Hello, my name is Isla Wilde, and here today with me is Quinn and Ewan, the scientists behind the invisibility cloak. So Quinn, what made you decide to invent an invisibility cloak? Well, about two years ago, my dad did the same thing and used an invisibility cloak on me. He basically disappeared out of my life forever. I'm just following his footsteps and trying to do what he does. He's my role model. Can you show me how this invisibility cloak works, Ewan? Quinn's dad. Wow. What do you hope this cloak will be used for in the future? Finding other people's fathers, just like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us today, boys. Back to you, Skylar and George, in the studio. Thanks, Isla. Next stop, there's a new wave of graffiti crime covering the country, thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are sticking together a new case, but there is no real pattern to these crimes. We cross now to Oliver with an exclusive interview. Thanks, George. I'm Oliver, and joining me is two members of the Midnight Knitters gang. Yo, yo, Abe and Jet Hunter, and thanks for joining us. What led you into the dark underworld of knitting graffiti? The ultimate plan. Do you see, do you see yourselves as criminals? Yeah. Why? Our grandpappy, he loved vandalizing vans and trees. So we took over the business. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else do you wish to vandalize with your knitting? Giraffes. Practically anything out of the zoo, to be honest. Thanks for your time. Back to you in the studio. Well, at least it'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Caitlin. What's in store? Thanks, Skylar. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are just the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday, but is expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day, with no wind at all, so just keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and friendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. That's all from me. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, that's all we have time for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be seeing you again next time. Until I'm then, I'm Skylar. And I'm Georgina. Wake up, New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.